today is the day that we're going to pray specifically for our finances and we're not just going to be pleading and begging because we know that it's already been promised to us and it's been given to us amen the first category of people that we want to pray for and if the camera person uh, Marv if you can help because we're going to uh, pray also for the viewers Bryson if you can come up we're going to pray right now for all the people in college we're going to pray for all the people in school that are struggling right now with tuition struggling to finish it and so for those even from other countries and those of us who are here for those of you who are in school today we're going to begin to offer a prayer where we're going to take what belongs to us as children of God which is God's supernatural provision and God's grace on our schooling in Jesus name but I want you to hear Bryson's testimony of how God helped him with the grant uh, for his bachelor's degree uh, yeah, so there was a there was a point in my life uh, when I was deciding to go back to finish my bachelor's degree. Uh, the word God gave me a word of the Lord at the beginning of the year, a couple years back, uh, to dream a new dream, to believe Him for a financial breakthrough, to believe Him for my schooling. And I received that word into my heart that I was not going to have to pay a penny for my schooling. And I not took a that penny. word not a thing and so I took that into my heart and I began to believe and I began to pray and trust the Lord and about three months of trusting the Lord I came uh, I was there I was at work I used to work at the CBC the college here and um, I, he, I came across our um, president of the college uh, it was just a supernatural thing that happened where he came into the office randomly talked to my dad my dad also worked at the college and offered me an opportunity to make uh, to have a scholarship uh, and I thought, wow, that's so awesome. I've been believing God. This will be just a, a yet another step towards a breakthrough uh, for my finances, for my schooling. Um, and it turned out when I went to go meet with but him you, in the but office. But you were expecting it to be like a few hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You know, just a couple hundred bucks. But, it, you know, yet another step towards the goal. Uh -huh. And uh, I went to the office and uh, the, the, the meeting was about 30 seconds. I walked into his office. He said, okay, well, go ahead and talk to my secretary and I will... Um, you know, I'll help you out the best I can. And so I'm sitting there. I go to talk to the secretary. I'm filling out paperwork. And she says, man, you're such a lucky guy. I'm like, I know. I didn't know the president gave out, you know, <laughs> you know, scholarships, grants. And um, so I just kept filling out paperwork. She's like, man, so many people would love to be in your position. I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> it's crazy. And, and she's like, you are really blessed. I'm like, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> you know, and so I'm filling out the paperwork. And it dawned on me. I'm like, I don't even know how much this is for. And so I began, just all of a sudden I just asked her, I'm like, how much does this cover? And she says, it covers everything. The, the bachelors, which is how much, how much money was, was in that grant? So what it came out to roughly is around 60 grand, um, possibly 75 grand. Now, and you mentioned to me that the grant was actually for a Hispanic woman. Yes. <laughs> I would go into the office uh, and when I had to renew my contract, my paperwork. The lady would look at me and she'd be like, <laughs> and I said, don't worry, the president of college said I could have this. <laughs> so a white guy got a Hispanic girl's grant. That means he didn't qualify for that. God wants to release something that you don't qualify for. God wants to release something that you qualify for as well. Right now we're going to begin to pray for people who are in college or people who stopped college because they don't have money. That God will begin to open doors. That you will begin to get an email. That you'll begin to get a phone call. That God will begin to aid you supernaturally in that. In Jesus name. And I'm going to have Bryson to, to pray for that. If you are in college or you're wanting to go back to college but you have no means, I want you to right now agree in that prayer. Whether stretch your hands, place your hand on your wall, whatever. Do something as a signal that you are in prayer right now. Let us agree in faith. If you are watching us on live stream and you're stuck in your schooling right now, just agree with us right now because the Lord wants to touch you this week, this month and this year in Jesus' name. Let's pray church. Yes, Father God, I just thank you, God, that today you're bringing breakthrough, God, Lord, and finances, Lord, for schooling, Lord, that you're bringing about a change, God, and people, God, who are struggling, God, to be able to pay for school. Lord, I thank you, God, that you're bringing about, God, a shift, God, in their lives, God, where they struggled, God, first generation uh, college students, God, being able to finish school, having school paid for, Lord. I thank you, God, that you're rewriting destinies right now, Lord, bringing education to your body to the people in this building right now lord i just declare god lord for 
for those God struggling, God, that breakthrough would happen today. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Spirit, every student in this place right now, I pray as they connect with you in faith, Lord, Lord, that you begin to bring about a breakthrough, that you begin to bring about a shift in their finances, God. Lord, they begin to hit wall after wall after wall, God, that every wall be, be torn down. In Jesus' mighty name, God, that the path will be made straight. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus, we decree open doors in Jesus' name. We declare God's favor. We speak God's supernatural supply right now to come. For those people who stop school, that they will be able to resume it in Jesus' name and get their degree and finish their school in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus. And right now we're going to come to a time where we're going to pray for jobs and for those people who are looking for a job and I'm gonna ask Mariana if she could come and just quickly share of how when she applied for a job a job that at the time she wasn't qualified for and how God opened the doors yeah and I'm still not qualified for but on paper so it was about year, one year into uh, working at one of the main hospitals here in Tri-Cities and I was working as a front office and uh, there was an opportunity in IT and in this uh, job opportunity you had to have a four-year degree bachelor degree and two years of experience Experience. I had nothing of that and I just believe that even though I don't have a degree behind me I had God who was behind me and I came in and I had three intense interviews with IT the first and the second interview they rejected me and just looked at me and said you are absolutely not qualified for this job and I fought back and said I might not be qualified on paper but I will show you that I will do an excellent job and on the third interview we had a group and I got the call and the incredible thing is is that as soon as I got the job they said that you qualified they made up a job position for me it wasn't even made they made it up so I could actually be in the IT and they, uh, they flew me out to get certified a, couple, a few times actually, doubled my pay, and, uh, and it had nothing to do with the fact of being qualified, only hard work on my end. I worked extremely hard, but at the same time, I asked God to do the end. That I didn't ask for favor, I just asked, Holy Spirit, teach me to walk in your favor. And that's what happened. Right now we're going to, come on. So even if the company doesn't have a position, if you have a right mindset, they'll find a position. The resilient mind. And right now we're going to begin to pray. If you are in this room and you need a job or you need a better job, your job just sucks. Just, just, just sucks life out of you. And you really just can't stand it. It's causing friction in your marriage. It's causing problem with your children. And you're looking for a job or you're unemployed and you're looking for a better job. I want you to raise your hand. Just don't be ashamed. We're just going to pray. If you see somebody with a hand raised with two three people just surround them and Marvin Marvin you stay with us and we're gonna pray right now for those people who are looking so let's just surround them some home group leaders and others let's begin to pray and Mariana I want you to lead that prayer of praying for jobs and praying for better jobs and everybody else in church wherever you are just pray wherever you're standing just pray right now for God to release that yes father we just come before you and we thank you God that you are you have called us to be your you have told us that we are your children and that Lord that we are not father we are the head and not the tail so Lord I just pray father right now father to go into the next level I thank you God for the supernatural favor that you have given us God that when people will go into interviews father I thank you for promotions I thank you Holy Spirit for testimonies that are about to happen Lord for those doors of opportunity to just come in Lord and I ask Lord that Father even if we're not qualified on paper I thank you God that you're going to qualify us Lord with your supernatural favor with your grace with your mercy Lord I thank you God that you made us your children the light of this world Lord that we are the head and not the tail Lord so we just pray in the name of Jesus that we'll walk in your divine favor Lord that you Lord for that promotion for that increase in Jesus mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus right now on this prayer this is our breakthrough service we're believing for a breakthrough in every area of your life if you believe God for a breakthrough give him a shout on this place come on come on come on right now in this prayer we're gonna be to pray for businesses I know there's people in this room that God has put on your heart and uh, and uh, you need to start your business it's just you know you got bills you got family you got this and that and you have many of these excuses not to not to take a leap of faith and trust God as God's God, God is going to provide or there's people that, that are here that you have a business but you know God has more for you and you know God and God can open a door for you 
God can bring you right resources, right people, right connection. God can, God can help you to, to get access to the capital that you will need to expand your business. If that's you, these two categories of people, lift your hand and we're going to be praying with you right now. And we're going to believe for God's divine favor, for God's wind into your sails, to God, for God to bring right people to connect you, to give you that nugget of wisdom, to give, to give you that direction where to go, how to go about it and how to get where you want to be. If that's you, all, lift your hands. We're going to be praying. Right now, church, if you see that hand lifted around you, begin to pray with them, connect with their faith. And let's believe that God will touch them at the point of their need in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray. Lord for your people that are here God that want to start the business God but something is holding them back right now we come against that in Jesus name we come against that fear we come against that doubt Father we ask you for your wind of your grace into their sails God into their back God push them forward provide for them in Jesus mighty name Father we pray for every business that's here in our church God we pray for expansion God we pray for resources God we pray for capital God we pray for wisdom Lord Lord Jesus I pray God that you release your grace in that area I pray God that your people will prosper I pray that your people will be generous God I pray that you will use your people God to do many kingdom projects in this city and around the world God that our church will be known for prosperity God for our giving Lord for our grateful Lord. God on our big heart in Jesus mighty name let your grace touch your people in Jesus mighty name we pray